I'll give you a definitive image size guide here for you. So, come on, guys. I'm here on the Innover Nutra website, which was an institutional website that I taught you to create with Element of Free here on the channel. I'll leave the link on the card and in the description if you want to go there and learn, okay? I'll use it here as an example to show you some things. So, this is the adult you have the most in your life, right? And I'm going to give you a definitive image size guide here for you. First point, banner and slides that extend the entire screen, like this banner that is here, right? Every time you have a banner that extends the entire width of the screen, for desktop, that is, for computer, you have to leave it wide, wide, on the desktop 1920, okay? Because it is a universal size that will serve both larger computer screens and smaller computer screens. Height, right? Height, which is this here, will depend on the size you want it to be. If you want it to be narrower, you put it narrower. If you want it to be wider, you put it bigger. I usually use 1920 by 650, which is more or less this size here, okay? It's a good number for you to base yourself on. But like I said, you do the test. If you want it to be narrower, put it smaller. If you want it to be wider, put it bigger, okay? And then it is important to note that when you are going to optimize a website, there is even a video on the channel teaching how to optimize the website, whoever has watched it already knows that, but anyway, when you are going to optimize a website, you have to optimize it for your cell phone and computer, optimize it to make it faster. So, on the computer, the image has to be delivered, right? In this 1920 size, and for the cell phone, the ideal is that the width is 1080, which is the ideal width for mobile devices here for the cell phone. But like this, it's the same thing as the desktop. If you want it to be narrower, right? That it gets bigger, taller, you put the height in a larger size. If you want it to be square, for example, this one is more or less square. So, you put 1080 by 1080, 1080 by 1200, 1100, right? It depends on how you want your layout to look. And then, as your design goes, you have to change the images so that they don't get heavy. So, for example, here in this banner, when it's a banner like this one, just the background photo, you can do this here by the element itself. So, here mine is in the background overlay, right? And my image here is 1920 by 650, okay. When I'm going to optimize the site, I have to come here, put it in the cell phone function, you see. And come here and put the image of the size for the cell phone. Otherwise, what happens? The website code has to make a code to be able to reduce this image, which is 1900 and so, to just 1080. And so, if you change this image, put the right size image, the website doesn't need to generate this code. So, it's a less resource for the browser to process and consequently the website loads faster, okay? Besides, the dimension is completely different, right? When you're making a website for a computer, the size and layout of the image are the same. If you just put it, leave it the same size as on the cell phone, what can happen, depending on the layout you have made, is to go all wrong, cut the person's head, right? If you have a person, cut the art. So, it's interesting that you make an image size, a different banner for each type of screen size. I'll teach you, for example, how to reduce just this one. If it's just an image, for example, you can go here to Canva, click here to create a design. And then you'll put a custom size here and you put the size you want it to be, right? For example, 1080x, I don't know, 1100. Create a new design. Then I come here, I take the image, right? That I used there on the banner. Or it was this image here. I drag it here. And then I resize it to the size I think is cool. Here on Canva, there's this, if you right click, you can put the define image as background. And then it already puts it, you see? And if you double click, you can resize it here, you see? Put it here the way you want it to be, for example. 
I'll leave it more here from the fruits, right? And then you come here to share, click here to download and download the image. PNG or JPEG, the way you want. You see? And then you download the image. And then you come here to the website and put the image. Insert the media here and it will already be there. You see? With that new resizing you did. And then for the computer, that image will continue. And then for the cell phone or tablet, anyway, the size you have put, it will stay here in the size you put it. So, first of all, that's it. The whole screen extension, right? Banner and also slides. It also serves for rotating slides. On the desktop, 1920 in width. Height depends on the size you want it to be. And for mobile, for cell phone, width 1080 in height, it depends on the size you want it to be, okay? Okay. One thing you have to observe for images that you make, art, right? Complete arts like this one from the website I made. This is a dropship store that I taught on the channel, okay? I taught how to make this banner on the field here too. There's a video of this here on the channel. And then you will see the following. When you are going to make an art like this, you have to leave the space of the ends free so that it doesn't break. If I had taken, for example, this title and left it right here at the end, what would happen? When I put a small screen, I would cut everything. Because there is not enough space. So, when you are going to make an art banner, you always have to think about it. The space of the ends, then, on top, below, on the sides, you have to leave a free space. You can't leave it blank, okay? For God's sake. You can't create art up to here. Start creating art up to here. The rest you leave blank, a cut train, no. It's for you to think about art as a whole. So, if here in mine, for example, there are, like I did here, some fonts. I will put this font in the extension of the entire image. Only the main of the art, which is this text and this photo. I will put right in the center. I'll leave a space on top, below and on the sides. And then, when you configure the image here, you leave it centralized. So that the art you want appears here in the middle. And if I put it on a smaller screen, and if I put it on a larger screen, it still adjusts, it still shows here what I'm trying to show. So here, for example, there is a space up here, a space below, see? This is on a smaller screen, see? A space above and below, on the other side. And if I put it on a bigger screen, it doesn't cut anything. Because I left enough space for that. So, when you're going to make an art, you have to think about it, okay? Okay, this is what I said, it's for images that extend the whole screen, on one side or the other. For other types of images, any other size of image, other than this one, you're going to think a little bit like this. If 1920 is the entire screen length, right? If I need an image that is half the screen, then it will be more or less half of that, you know? So you have to do more or less this calculation. This here, for example, this image, is more or less a quarter, I think less than that, of the entire screen length, right? So you do more or less this math. 1920 divided by 4, right? So it would have to be, more or less, approximately 480 wide this image here, okay? But what am I talking about, more or less? It doesn't have to be exact, because then we use a plugin called Smush, that you can come here. Plugins, add new, look for Smush, this is it, Smush Lazy, load images. There's a video just about it here on the channel. I'm not going to teach, pay attention, okay? I'm not going to teach in this video how to use Smush, because there's a video just about smush here, there are several configurations, a video that I only covered this, here I'm giving an image size guide, okay? There's a video just about smush, here on the card in the description for you, but I'll continue with the explanation. The smush, later, you can pass it, and it tells you exactly the size that the image is being represented here in the layout. 
So, for example, look, if I click here, look, you see, it stays here, yellow. Then I click here, it shows me, for example, the logo, it's saying that the logo, it's in size 400 by 167, but it's being represented by 140 and 62. So, 141, 148, right? 148 and 62 is the right size that this logo has to be here. So, I would have to come here, in the media, right? Library, look for this logo image, and resize it to this size, which is green here, you see? So, we, look, I came here, and then you just come here, edit the image, come here, how much is it? 148. You see? It already resizes by itself, in the right proportion. So, I come here, scale, save, and that's it, it's already in the right size. Here, for example, this one, it's saying that the image is 1000 by 1000, you see that it doesn't have to be exact. You just need to put a size, usually, ideally, we put a size bigger than we think it will be. For example, I guessed it would be about 500, 480 here, right? So, I put a bigger size. I put 1000 by 1000, which is an image of Borum here, right? To be able to get a beautiful layout, because if you put a very small image, it gets blurry, right? So, I didn't know how I was going to represent it here, so I put a reasonable size, so that if I wanted to make it bigger, it wouldn't get blurry, if I wanted to make it smaller, it wouldn't get bad either, okay? So, you put a size, more or less, that you think it is, make your layout here, and in the end, you come, pass the smush, for you to leave the image exactly the size it has to be. So, for example, this one has to be 550, and this one has to be 250. Which is this image here. I come here to edit, 550, save, twice. It's good to check because sometimes it happens not to save. So you go forward, go back here and see if it's the right size. In this case, it is. And then you come here, reload the website and check if it's the right size. So, for example, I reloaded here and this one of a thousand and a little is no longer showing up, see? It already sends me the part of these images down here, see? It's blinking here with the image it is. So do this, do a calculation more or less, you don't need to put the exact size of the image, just think like this, if the image extension of the whole screen is 1920, how much will it be if I use half of the screen, or if I use a third of the screen? Put more or less the size, then pass the smush to come here and get the right size of the images. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell. A hug, see you next time, bye.